Hi there and welcome to our next video on specific heat capacity. This is a continuation from our last video. In this video, we're going to be looking at some exam questions relating to this topic. So, question one says, Dave experiments heating different materials. He needs to choose a heater to warm some water. The table shows how much energy uh, different heaters supply in 600 seconds. Here's the table. Dave needs to increase the temperature of 0 0.6 kilograms of water by 12 degrees um, Celsius in 600 seconds. Water has a specific heat capacity of 4200 joules per kT per degree Celsius. Do a calculation to find out which heater Dave needs. Show you're working out. So we need to do a calculation over here. So to find the thermal energy, we would do 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.6 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 4200 this is just the equation that we saw in our previous video we just type this into our calculator this gives us an answer of 302,000 for um, 302,000 um, 400 Sorry, 30,240. Uh, 30,240. So, which heater would we need? We would need heater E. Because this number over here is closest to this number over here. Okay. Next question. A student completes an experiment to find the specific heat capacity of a metal. The student takes voltage and current measurements. Suggest three other measurements that they could take. So the obvious ones could be that they could take maybe the temperature. The temperature, maybe the mass and the time. And three um, reasons would give you three marks. Okay. So, uh, describe how these measurements could be used to determine the specific heat capacity of the material. So, these three measurements are needed because we need to work, uh, we need the formula. We, uh, we can just say the formula. So, the specific, we would just need to do a bit of re uh, rearranging. So, the specific heat capacity is the energy divided by the mass times the temperature rise and, uh, and that's the equation that you could show for the mass we need the mass the temperature we need the temperature and to work out the rise we need the time so explaining that in that formula would give you two marks okay next question when the cyclist uses the brakes the bicycle slows down this causes the temperature of the brake pads to increase by 50 degrees um, Celsius, the mass of the brake pads is 0 0.04 kilograms. The specific heat capacity of the material of the brake pads is 480 joules per kg per degree Celsius. Calculate the change in thermal energy of the brake pads and we're given the equation. So the mass we're given is 0 0.04, which is in kilograms. 0 0.04 multiplied by the specific heat capacity over here. 480 joules per kg and then we're given the temperature change as well which is 50 degrees now we have our full um equation we can type that into the calculator 0 0.04 multiplied by 480 multiplied by 50 this would give us 960 joules next question the mass of water in each cup is 200 grams. Calculate the energy in joules transferred from the water in a cup when the temperature of the water falls by 8 degrees C. So the specific heat capacity is 4200 joules. Okay, so the mass is in grams, so we need to convert this. It would be 0 0.2 kilograms multiplied by the specific heat capacity, which is 4200 joules multiplied by the temperature change which is 8 degrees c okay 
So let's type this into our calculator 0 0.2 multiplied by 4200 multiplied by 8. This would give us an answer of 6720 joules. We can convert that, but you don't need to 6.72 kilojoules. Next question A can chiller is used to make a can of drink colder. So this is the can chiller. The can chiller decreases the temperature of the liquid um, in the can by 15 degrees. The mass of the liquid is 0 0.33 kilograms. The specific heat capacity is 4,200 joules. Calculate the energy transfers. So let's um, do it. So we have the mass 0 0.3, 3, 0 0.33 multiplied by the specific heat capacity, 4,200 multiplied by uh, the change in temperature which is 15 so we have 0 0.33 multiplied by 4200 multiplied by 15 this would give us an answer of two, uh, 20,790 we can also convert that into kilojoules 20.79 kilojoules next question last our last question complete the following sentence the specific heat capacity of a substance is the amount of energy required to change the something of one kilogram of the substance by one degree celsius so this would be temperature this is asking simply for the definition of specific heat capacity next part c to calculate the specific heat capacity of a material, the mass of the material needs to be measured. State the name of the measuring uh, instrument to uh, use to measure mass. So when we're, whenever we're measuring mass, we would use a balance. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.